Hello viewers, uh, it's me Benoon again and today we will be uh, driving a uh, DDM a DDAR I mean or DDM I think this is a DDM the older version of the uh, DDZ which we have been driving and uh, today I'll be driving in this fictional map again um, yeah, we're going to be driving to Misevain. This is over here. Oh no, let's go up below. Never mind. So we're going to drive to Misevain, which is over here. We're going to drive to Kramendijk St Stadion, which is over here. Kramendijk Hoge Markt, which is over here, and Kramendijk Central SR final destination let's get cracking with uh, the starting procedure doesn't have destination uh, sign so let's not worry about that this is a fantastic look I love this um, so let's let's pass this in shall we I'll show you the old station just so you can have an overview of what's all there so uh, this scenario is uh, representing 2006 so we will also see all the trains from around that time so no SLT, no SNG no ICM modernized, still the ICM uh, the old ICM with the actual door which you can walk through Okay, it's saying to me that I need to make sure that I'm on time on every destination. This AZR does not exist. This train, this is so nostalgic. I've been on this train as well as a small boy and this is so nostalgic for me to drive this again. Forget what the uh, bloody uh, what the bloody mm. let me just look for a second again. I always forget this for some ridiculous reason. I always forget to. F the buttons for this one because this this is the only train and that's what frustrates me a little bit is that uh, that has a different cruise system every other train is straightforward it's rnf but this is a this is a other train this works differently so the cruise control also works differently because cruise control will make things easier so I'm going to search that up, it's not going to take a lot of time, just need to get the short keys, the hot keys. 
Uh, let me see. DDAR manual. Oh, it's control. I tried, but shit. Yeah, there we go. Let's get that up to 140. So, yeah, as you know, um, yeah, I, I, which I explained in the other video, this is a very detailed map based on a fictional version of the Netherlands and uh, I really like driving in this map okay, we can speed up a bit that's the map 64 Now we can speed up a little bit, but a bit more. So we need to make some speed. That's the uh, DM90, which you will be also driving one time. Oh shit! I can't go above 80. We need to. We need to. Yeah, we need to make sure we stay on 80. We can't go. Speeding f yet. I'll be definitely uh, making more videos about my driving trains for this map because there's still uh, a lot of things to explore and there's some nice scenarios for this one, like a uh, a mail service train. Which we will also certainly do because it's just really interesting. So look forward to that. I think it will be one of my next videos. SGM, not the SGM M with the double M just the normal SGM because they didn't have modernized stuff uh, in, back in the day these are all trains from 1970s, 1980s, 1990s and uh, not later I think we can almost change to cruise mode We got six, no, seven carriages. Well, the last one is not really a carriage, it's a, it's a train. But, hey. Let's enable them and switch for more Im immersion. Maybe a good one for the thumbnail.
shit. Forgot about that. That's a freight one. I don't know the I don't know the freight train class really well. So can't really say which class that one is. I only know like the class uh, 1600, 1700, 1800 series, which is behind uh, our train. This is the uh, 1600 series. Very nice train. And I know of a scenario where we will actually drive in this train as well, so. Maybe that's a video uh, for the future again. And generally, I now want to focus a little bit more on uh, covering the older trains. And some uh, other regional trains. Because... Uh, oh, let's, speak on it on. let's just apply some brake, because this cruise control doesn't have built-in brakes. at our uh, station anyway, so let's just disable cruise control. And let's focus, because our, uh, the next station is the station we need to stop at. Maybe a tip for me is as well is try to uh, like start braking at like the not the closest signal but like almost uh, the second closest signal. Start braking procedure then because otherwise uh, error may happen. Errors may happen. Ah, oh, this this train can't break. Yeah, it will slip. I don't give a shit to stop at this station. That's the train, but I'll show you in a minute. That's oh. Don't scream at me, I'm trying to focus on stopping at the station. So we have to stop at the... 8, because train still counts as a part of the thing, so we need to stop there. Perfect. Let's just disable that so we can fly around without that thing starting to scream at us. This is the train. This is the post train which we will be driving in another video as well. So uh, I hope you look forward to that. Then again our train. Okay, next station is Kramendijk sta sta Stadion, so stadium, the football stadium. Let me see, is everything closed? I need to wait. Yes, now it's closed. Turn off the brakes.
That was me today. Let's up our speed a little bit. Not a freight train. a little bit too uh, too too soon sometimes but uh, I like to be more careful than uh, break too late
So uh, this is uh, Kramendijk Stadion. Let's have a look, shall we? Quick before the. Very nice. Onwards, next station is Kramendijk Hoogmarkt. I'm going to say it's 100 because there was not enough time for me to accelerate to 113. This also seems a little bit unnecessary between, uh, yeah, if you look at the distance. So this is an underground station. like Skippo and some others. I can't go out because this station is built like in a in a very specific way that doesn't allow cameras. Uh, like the free, uh, it doesn't allow the free cam to go uh, into the station, so I can't show another view except for like the passenger view. Our next stop is uh, 
Kramendijk Centraal, which is our final destination. I believe some MAT 64s were actually used as intercities back in the day, but not a lot. Some unique liveries on the ICMs also back in the day, as you can see. Also when we started it was a nice blue Schiphol one or something, or some something else, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. But there were some unique liveries on the ICMs back in the day as well. Let's see which we stop. Uh, okay. To put the first platform, which is apparently platform three. So, oh, I laid out a bit there. Our final destination. Epic. Just in case if the other one isn't really that good for a uh, thumbnail. So yeah, this was it. I hope you, uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you have uh, some feedback questions or other comments, please leave that in the co comment section. Obviously, if you like the video, please leave a like. And if you love the video and want to see more of me maybe consider subscribing. See you guys later. Goodbye.